Tonight, federal officials are reporting an uptick in violent rhetoric just ahead of tomorrow's commemorations of the January 6th riot. Uh, but they say there is nothing to suggest a coordinated plan or a specific threat, at least not now. We're joined by the CEO and national director of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt. Uh, he's also the author of an important new book entitled It Could Happen Here, Why America is Tipping from Hate to the Unthinkable and how we can stop it. Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for writing this book. Imagine uh, uh, this uptick in violent rhetoric comes, I imagine it comes as no surprise to you, especially given the book you've just written. But what does this new report tell you about where we are as a country right now, one year after the insurrection? Well, Wolf, I think we're actually at a very perilous moment. I mean, who would have imagined in some ways that you would see this terror attack on our nation's capital, that's really what it was. Perhaps the most predictable terror attack in American history because they told us they were going to do it. But in fact, you could predict it, Wolf, because there was sort of a through line from Charlottesville to Capitol Hill, from, from Charleston to Pittsburgh. You've seen the normalization of extremism in this country. You've seen the rise of anti-Semitism in this country. You've seen the kind of racism and polarization on the ground floor that's deeply scary. So in a world in which we see rising extremism on the far right and politicians who excuse it and a kind of increasing illiberalism from the far left and again politicians who excuse it that leaves all of us in really tough shape in your new book uh, you write and, and i'm quoting now uh, you, you write our society is becoming more vulnerable by the day to hate on both the left and the right. You say both our government and all, all of us as individuals have a role to play in stopping all this hate that's exploding out there. Tell us how we do that. Well, look, I think this is really important. There is no silver bullet that will stop the rise of hate or that even will prevent us from tearing the social fabric. Wolf, this is an all hands on deck moment and we need an all of society strategy to tackle it. I, this is the reason why I wrote the book. It's filled with ADL strategies and tactics and tips based on what we've seen after a hundred years of fighting hate. And it get, lays out a blueprint. So what can citizens do? What can businesses do? What can faith leaders do? What can parents and teachers do? And let me just give you a quick couple examples. Number one, we've got to speak out when hate happens, even when it originates on our side of the aisle, so to speak. Right? We need conservatives to call it out and liberals to call it out. Number two, Wolf, we've got to cancel, cancel culture. No, we've got to lose the litmus tests. My Jewish faith tells me everyone can be redeemed. Everyone has an opportunity to amend for their errors. And number three, Wolf, I really think we've talked about in your show before, social media. We've really got to curb the excesses and the algorithms that are literally engineered to inflame people. That's got to be corrected once and for all. Those are such important points, and I'm so glad you wrote uh, this really important uh, book. It could happen here. The title is so, so scary. Why America is tipping from hate to the unthinkable and how we can stop it. Jonathan Greenblatt, thanks for writing the book. Thanks for joining us.